Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Play channel. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you every single block inside of Islands and how to make it and how to get it. If you do enjoy this video and if you want to see more awesome content like this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, do it right now, pause the video and hit that subscribe button, leave a like and turn the post notification bell on to keep up to date. Congratulations, King RB Plays, for winning the third. 30,000 subscriber giveaway. I hope you enjoy the Robux. Into this and head all the way up to the top floor of the museum. So on the top floor of the museum, we have every single block that's currently inside of islands. As you can see, we have gravel, we have aquarium blocks, we have everything, okay? But it doesn't look as much blocks as you would have originally thought it would be. You would have thought that there was absolutely tons of blocks inside of islands, but looking at this all laid out on the floor, there isn't too many that is actually in the game. So we're going to cover how to make or how to get every single one of these blocks. So let's actually get started with all the colors. So the colors are made up of flowers, so you can get flowers through from finding fertile flowers along your base. So if we look around the base, we will be bound to see some fertilized flowers. So if we just keep looking around and keep our eyes open, we might be able to see some fertile flowers around the area. Over here, we have just found a couple. So what you can actually do to start this off is simply pick up the fertile blue lily and put it right next to another fertile flower. So I covered a whole video on, you know, how to get fertilized flowers and how to get different dyes and stuff like that so you can always go back to check those out if you want to then what you could do you can get a watering can like this and if we use the watering can and water them both 10 minutes later we'll get a flower it can be mundane it can be yellow it can be absolutely anything so you just have to wait and it is a time consuming progress but that is how you make all the kind of colors for the flowers so what we can do we can actually head back to the museum in the crafting area of our base where we can actually see the different colors that we can make so there is a bunch of different colors that you can make and it is absolutely awesome and i think that's the majority of the blocks inside of islands so that is pretty cool so what we need to do we need to find this bench so this is the coloring bench right here you will need to use this to be able to make it so there's red wool and there's also white clay. So red wool works exact same. However, you will need shears and to shear a sheep. Or you can use this machine right here that collects it inside of this chest. As you can see, we've got roughly about eight of those in the chest. And the sheep is also using a scratching post. So that is one way of doing it. And then you simply just combine flowers with either clay or the block. So how do, how do you get clay? There is actually a clay totem that you can get at spawn and it's just simply called clay so if we type in clay as you can see this is a clay totem and it drops clay on the floor you use a conveyor and then you can just simply use it that way you can also use clay to be able to make bricks so bricks like this right here so this is brick you can also use it to make that if you want to so that being said what we can do we can go to the current station and have a look so there's a bunch of blocks there's white there's red there's orange there's yellow there's greens there's blues there's purples blacks and pinks and with red wool it's exactly the same i believe there's one less so I, I might be wrong with that yeah so they've definitely got one more block Okay, yeah, so it's white wool. So that is basic standard color wool. So you could just get that through sheep. However, you can actually combine flowers with this. It doesn't matter if they're fertile or not. You can still use fertile to be able to make this. But you need to be careful. I recommend saving your fertiles and not using them. The next thing is glass. So there's red, yellow, and blue glass. You can make these through using flowers as well. Same goes with red glass panes, but that isn't really a block. We are covering the full blocks inside of this video. So what we can do, we can head all the way back up to the top of the base and we can show you how to make the next stuff. So let's start here. So these blocks are aquarium block and also I believe that this one is aquarium brick. So you can make the brick through 
with the stone cutter however if you wanted a crane block you will need to go all the way to spawn and to the water so let me show you what i mean by this when we load in fishing area right here and you just simply want to dive down here so when diving you can have a look around there's different kind of plants different flowers and stuff like that if you want to but down here somewhere there would be aquarium stones so i don't think you can find it on this island now i think you might have to go to the first island i'm not really sure that it's been a while okay right so this is the aquarium block that you'll need so you simply need to grab a couple of these to be able to make the block so heading back to the base and going into your workbench, you can go into blocks and there's a bunch of blocks. So this is the a block that we need. And as you can see, one of those stones could potentially make one of those blocks. So you can make it with this and that is how you make the aquarium block. Then what you can do, you can actually get one of those stone cutters or those stone tables that you can actually make it. I believe it is called the stone cutter so you can use this to be able to actually turn it into that block if you want to let's go through all the ones that you can actually craft so the blocks okay so bamboo blocks you can simply get bamboo from the slime island to be able to make this block then the next one is dried bamboo block so this was a lot of confusion what you can do you can actually put bamboo within this and you can actually cook it so look if we put this in here and then let's cook it right here as you can see it takes a little while to be able to cook it takes roughly about 30 seconds or so to be able to cook this maybe a minute as it's currently saying still for whatever reason that is and you can just make it through this and that is how you make dried bamboo but what we're going to do we are going to put this back in here just so it can go back into its display and then you can simply make it through here the next thing is coal blocks so you can simply get coal either from totems or you can go to spawn you can mine coal to be able to make it the next thing is diamond blocks so you can actually defeat the golem boss on buffalorca island you have to be level 50 combat to be able to access this and defeat the boss and you should be able to make one block by the time you're done depending if you get a enchanted diamond or not the next thing is golden block you can simply cook gold from the chest or you can find it i think on buffalo island or wizard island around that kind of area and you might be able to find some gold or get gold from the from the desert boss the next thing is honey blocks and honeycomb blocks so there's two different things that you can do jar of honey and honeycomb so how do you get honeycomb? You go to a tree that has a nest on it and you can collect that from it. So look, this is what the nest looks like. You can simply come up to this here and just collect and you get honeycomb. And that is how you get it. Now, if you want to get the, the honey bottles, you will need to be able to get one of those honey presses, I believe. I'm not sure what they're called. You can go here and i believe it's not the mayonnaise jar ah <laughs> uh, right here so honey press you can simply put honey in here then what it'll do it'll press it and that is how you do it the next thing is iron so again you can do that at the main island if you guys want to actually get that it's really really simple and easy to find i believe you can get totems of them as well with marble columns and mushroom blocks you can get mushrooms through going to wizard island to be able to find them so on wizard island there's actually these red mushrooms dotted around you can simply mine these and pick them up or you can collect them by pressing f so how do you get marble so let's go find how to get marble okay so you want to head all the way to the main island but what we're going to be doing we're going to be taking a little shortcut to buffalo island so you want to head all the way through this portal right here and head to buffalo island this is where we're going to find it. So let me show you all locations of this. Well, it would be good if we can get electro blocks. That would be absolutely awesome if we were able to get those kind of blocks. So let's head all the way to this island. 
So when you actually reach this island, we'll show you how to get marble in just a minute. But this is how you get slate. So you just want to drop down here. And as you can see, slate is right here. We can mine this. And as you can see, we got slate on the bottom right hand corner. Now to get marble, what you can do, you can head all the way along this route. Just follow and pause the video and revert back to the video if you need to know where it is. However, this is iron right here. And we can just keep going all the way up here. So just follow the direction I'm going. If you did go down this hole so you want to head all the way up to the side and continue up from this angle and as you can see there's a couple of places here and this is the portal so to the right of the portal we want to head around this area to right here so this should be where we will find marble so marble should be just down here right now okay cool so they kind of look like this kind of block and as you can see we mined it and you can get a couple pieces of marble from this position so this is what it looks like right here so marble and this person's trying to take it from us what are you doing <laughs> joking <laughs> right okay i've got up to this point of the video be sure to hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed this video that being said let's keep going into it marble pillars within it and then you can simply craft it from that bench so let's get on into the next one so if we head back over to the bench and have a look so here are a couple more so the mushroom block we've covered that the aquarium block we covered that and ruby block so how you how do you get rubies well you can simply buy them okay or you can get them through the desert boss on a rare chance so that is how you're going to get ruby if you want it the next thing is if we scroll down that seems to be pretty much everything that we can actually craft from this point on so what we need to do now we need to head all the way back up and have a look at what blocks we can do and what blocks we can't so if you want to make this slate block right here and what you can do you can use the stone cutter like we suggested down below same with the marble version of this one as well if you want to make this one you can get it through stone cutter as well with this standard slate and this standard marble you can get those through just mining that block at the island we went to to get gravel you can buy that from the blocks person at spawn with this one you do need the light game pass to be able to get this so let's actually have a look to see what you'll need to actually make this so by the looks of it, if we head into a lighting station, the sea lantern will cost you the aquarium that we found under the water and coal. Very simple to make if you've got that game pass. If you don't have that game pass, it will cost you around 10k per block, depending on the shop you go to. Maybe a little cheaper if you're lucky. To get these two blocks, I believe you can get them from the workbench. That is how I got this one from the workbench. However, if this isn't no longer in the workbench, that means it's limited so let me go check because i swear i didn't see it when i looked so let's head all the way down here and have a look so if we go into the workbench and scroll down it is here so mossy stone block you need tall grass and stone brick so how do you get the tall grass you can simply mine it from your base around the area so it is very simple to make if you want it so if we head all the way back up and have a look so this is coal a coal block you can just combine coal with the workbench down below this is iron i think yeah that looks like iron they've changed the textures so the pumpkins okay you have to plant the pumpkin seeds to be able to make it and there was another one that is this okay this was a block that you were able to get called the jack-o-lantern so what we can do we can have a look at this and put this right here facing the correct direction so as you can see you can no longer get this one anymore and they are getting rarer and rarer because not many people actually decided to make these and because it was before wipe if people made tons of them half of them would have disappeared anyway and then this is the melon block now this one here and this and so these two here you can get those from the desert island with this one and this one i believe they're the same block you can get that through using the stone cutter with this block right here and that is how you're going to make that block with sand you can get that at the the builder or the blocks person at the npc we covered all of these however with this one on the end this one is actually the 
LED block. So you can get that through the electrical workbench. These are all the woods. Those are all the trees that you can get. You just simply have to get all of the kind of trees and this is all the kind of woods that turn into it when you use the, the wood cutter this is standard stone so you can find that at the main island or you can use a totem this brick here you can turn the clay into it by cooking it i believe or the glass two different kinds of dirt so there's dry dirt and there's normal dirt i believe you can cook normal dirt to make the dry dirt honey cone blocks these two blocks are unavailable now to get so the ice and the snow but you can get snow at spawn now on top of the mountains the mushroom block and all of this so i think we've covered the majority or if not everything islands has to offer at this current time so those are all the blocks if i missed any let me know down in the comments however if you are watching this video at a later date do bear in mind that it could pretend they could potentially be more blocks added islands have started adding a lot more blocks now per update so do bear that in mind so this video will probably go out of date really quick but that is the majority of the blocks and how to get them so i hope you did enjoy the video if you did enjoy and if you want to see more like this be sure to hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment down below thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out